Welcome to 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In this video, we're going to be learning how to multiply a three digit number by a two digit number. Right, let's get into it. Okay, so for our first example, we have 453 multiplied by 17. So we're trying to make 453 17 times larger. And to do that, we're going to have to set up our calculation correctly. So I'm going to start by putting my place value headings into my square grid that I've got here. And it always helps to work things out on squared paper just because it keeps your columns nice and in a line. Now, 453, we're going to put that at the top and we're going to multiply it by 17. Now, there's a very specific way that you need to set this type of calculation out. So just like we're used to, we put the part of our equal sign in there, but instead of starting on our second line down, we're now gonna go down to the third and then one underneath that for a final answer later on. And you're going to want to put your add sign in there and I'll tell you why in a moment. And then we want to pop a zero into our ones column on the second line down that we've got. Now, the reason that we're going to do that is that we're going to partition 17 into 10 and seven. So we're going to make 453 seven times larger on our second line. And then we're going to make 453 10 times larger on our second line there. And then we're going to add those back together at the end so that we're partitioning and then regrouping and bringing it back together. So let's have a little look. So we've got three times seven, which is 21. So unit down and carry the 10 over. Five sevens are 35, add the two is 37. So again, unit down, bringing that 10 over. Four sevens are 28, add the three is 31. However, I've got nothing else to multiply by, so I can just put that straight in there. So 453 multiplied by seven is 3,171. So I've done that bit, I'm just gonna strike that through so I don't go back to it. And now what you want to do on this line, on our second line down, is one times three, one times five, and one times four. But in, what I've done here is made it quite easy for myself because I've already multiplied my answer by 10, so I can now multiply it by one because our one is in the tens column. So actually the answer will be 10 times larger. So one times three is three, one times five is five, and one times four, is four. So 4,530, and that makes sense because 4,530, 10 times greater is the number that we've just worked out there. Now then, because I've partitioned, I just need to put those answers back together. And to do that, I simply add them up. So one add nothing is one, seven add the three is 10, one add five is six, add the one is seven, and three add four is seven as well. So the answer to 453 multiplied by 17 is 7,701. Okay then, so let's get cracking with example number two. So I have 625 multiplied by 73. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing that I've done with my other example. So I'm going to write in my place value headings just to make it nice and easy for myself but this one does involve some slightly larger numbers so i'm going to put an extra column in there i may even need another one but let's find out so we've got 625 multiplied by 73 okay i need to set it up just as i did before with my double line there and my final answer line multiplied by 10 and our add sign as well. So once again, on our top line, I'm going to be multiplying by three. So trying to make 625 three times larger. So three times five is 15. We've got three times two, which is six, add the one, makes seven. And we've got three times six, which is 18, but I've got nothing else to multiply by, so I can put that straight in there. For 1,875, which equals 625 multiplied by three. So once again, I'm just gonna strike through my ones digit so I don't go back to it. And now I'm gonna branch out 
with my 7 and multiply 625 by that. But just like with our last example, we've already multiplied by 10. So we don't have to worry about um, multiplying by 70 because we've already done that little bit. Okay, so 7 fives are 35. So a unit down, carry the 10. Two sevens are 14, add the three is 17. So a unit down and carry that 10 over. Six sevens are 42, add the one is 43. But I've got nothing else to multiply by, so I can just put that answer straight in there. So 43,750 is the answer to 625 multiplied by 70. Now, again, because I've partitioned 70 and three, I need to put that back together again. So we just simply do that by adding up. So five add nothing is five. Seven add five is 12. Eight add seven is 15. Add the one is 16. One add three is four. Add the extra one that we've carried over is five. And nothing in that column makes 45,625. If you feel like this video has helped you out today, then why not take a little look around the other videos that I have. I have all sorts of ones for addition, subtraction and fractions as well. Please feel free to subscribe, like and comment and let me know if there's any particular videos you'd like me to do in the future. Until next time, goodbye.